All right, y'all. Welcome back to the Halfway There Adventures channel. Today we're going to be working on uh, the Omeko Pro Skia 17 again. Uh, sorry, I'm posting a lot of videos lately. It's been hunting season, and uh, that's got me wrapped up. I've been really trying. I haven't had much luck yet, but uh, I only got a couple weeks left. To try to get something done with that. So I haven't been posting a lot of boat content, and I didn't realize how hard it'd be to make hunting content, but it is. So maybe by next year I'll be better suited with some better equipment for that. But since the uh, hunting season's winding down, I'm starting to work on the boat again and get it ready, get out fishing soon. So uh, I got a couple upgrades I'm I'm trying to make, and today we're gonna um, add us a rod holder into this front hatch here. If y'all can see that, uh, we're gonna put a rod holder right here in this front hatch. I got it right here. Um, it came longer but I needed to shorten it a little bit because uh, it would have bottomed out inside the bottom of this it's not quite deep enough for that and I wanted to give room for the rope to come out but that's that's the whole reason we're putting this rod holder in here is so that uh, say you're out fishing somewhere right now the way it sits this is a perfect spot for your anchor and your rope but if you need to anchor out there's not a, a slot or anything or anywhere to bring your rope out so you got to bring the whole rope out on the set it on the deck and it's taking up all kinds of room uh, but this way I can just bring the rope out the hole in the rod holder and uh, hook it to the anchor chain, throw it out, and all the rest of the rope I'm not using stays in there and stays out of the way. And I think it's going to work out pretty sweet. And say I'm just uh, using the trolling motor and bouncing from dock to dock or whatever and not using the anchor, I'll have the extra spot here. Uh, I can open that rod holder up. Say I need to set my rod down to grab the net or change you know rebate or whatever I got a spot I can you know set a rod or even uh, put my net up there so that if I you know get a fish on I don't have to run back there and grab the net it'll be right up here just a, just an extra spot I can use for rod holder if I'm not using it for the anchor so uh, let's get to it all right y'all uh, we get started here today um, like I said before I started the video I I already went and cut this down. This was, you know, a full length flush mount rod holder, and I made it shorter by, I don't know, it's probably about four or five inches. Um, and it's, I like it because it's got this cap on it, so this thing doesn't seal up good anyway, but it, if water gets up here, it can get underneath here and get inside, but this cap is going to keep, you know, water splashes over. It's not going to go in there quite as much. But what I did is I uh, went ahead and kind of set this on here and lined it up to where I, I thought this was going to set in there good. Kind of got it angled about a 45 um, down towards the center so the rope can pull out of there real easy. And I use this gasket as a template to make my mark to where I got to pre-drill my holes for my stainless screws I'm going to screw this down with and then also the center of where I got to drill the big hole. Uh, hole saw to let this recess down in. As you can see I got one that fits you know just a little bit bigger than what I need but it'll give me a little wiggle room so I make sure I get it lined up straight. And uh, I got a I think it's a 732nd sorry 764 bit for my uh, small stainless screws. I'm going to pre-drill these holes in the fiberglass and then I've got a, a quarter inch bit I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill my pilot before I go putting this big bit on there. So now that I got my marks, let's get the drill out and I get started. I'll drill these small holes first. switch out the small bit for the big one so I can get my center hole for my big hole saw there. I'm going to start it in reverse, try to cut through the gel coat so it doesn't crack real bad even though it shouldn't matter because the whole piece is coming out anyway. Helps if you put it in drill mode. Alright, we 
we got our center hole, switch out for the hole saw. I didn't reverse it first to try to get through that first layer of gel coat. But once I get down to where I got a good start, I'll kick it in forward and it'll cut a lot faster. Through the top layer, just gotta cut through the bottom. Alright, just cut all the way through now. I just gotta clean up the hole a little bit. Make sure there's no burrs or nothing. Alright, we got that slug out of there. Set that drill out of our way. I'm gonna brush some of this stuff. Probably bring the shop back out later and get all this dust out of here. I'll just lay this down in here and give it a quick test fit. Alright, uh, the hole is big enough to go straight down, but since this is at an angle, I'm hitting on this back side. I don't know if you can see in that picture or not, but I might take the bit in and put it in an angle so I get some clearance on the back side of this hole. Alright, I cleared a little bit out. Let's see how that helps. Oh yeah, now she's just down in there flush. And uh, I'll pull this back out, put the gasket back on. And we'll send these screws down ever so gently with an impact and we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Right, my holes still don't quite line up, so I'm going to clear just a little bit, a little bit more. I'm going to see if I can just kind of shave some off with my knife. It needs to go towards the center of the hatch, just a tiny bit more. Alright, she lined up pretty good. Let's see if we can send a couple of these screws in and tinch this thing down. These are stainless steel. I just had them um, laying in my screw bin, but I know they're stainless. They look to be about maybe a, a half to five eighths long. Probably about a number eight screw. in there solid. Put the cap up. Get all this dust out of the way real quick. See how she turns out. I think that's going to work pretty good. Let me uh, change the camera angle a little bit and I'll pull the, the anchor rope out and kind of show you what it'd be like if we were on the water. And uh, I'm sure you'll see it in future videos with uh, me using it. 
and not having a bunch of rope all, all over the front deck getting in your way when you're trying to cast. All right, y'all, here we go. Uh, got it kind of cleaned up, got the dust and stuff out of here. Now that we got this rod holder cut in, I'm gonna kind of show you how it plays out. Uh, like I said, if I'm not using it for the rope and the anchor, say I was out here fishing, uh, I wanna change lure or something, before I just have to lay my rod down, but now I can just pop that thing open, slam it in the rod, rod holder, and uh, go get what I want, come back up. Then I would lay it on the deck all the time, and I also, say I was on a hot bite and I was catching a lot of fish, I could uh, keep my net up here with me too, so I wouldn't have to worry about running to the back of the boat all the time. We could just reel one in, get a cloak, scoop it up, ready to go. So that's one other benefit besides uh, the main reason I put it in. As you can see, I can open this up now. Got an anchor chain disconnected from the rope. idea by now how deep it is so I need 20 feet of rope. Close it, lock it. You're not stubbing your toe on that. And my anchor's already got this little quick connect on it. So it's just as simple as pulling that pin, sticking the rope through. And, uh, connecting this little bolt back up. You take it. Now I got all this deck space. Before, all that rope would be piled up here in this corner, and I'd always be tripping on it and getting in the way and stuff. So uh, that's just a simple little fix. I thought, you know, easy trick to add and uh, make your makeup pro skip just a little better. Uh, I got a couple more things coming. We're gonna also in this video. I got some rod holders. I'm gonna show you guys. We got uh, these from Academy. Marine Raider brand, but I've had some just like this before. They may not have been the same brand, but uh, They go on just like this. They have the suction cups and you can mount the bracket on the boat and um, Take up the four rods on and off the boat all Together and the main reason I got these I know we got the rod holders on the console But here soon I'm gonna be getting a, a, a Bimini top I got one picked out. I think I'm gonna order in a few weeks and those rod holders on the side of the console won't work well for that because they're going to be too tall and you won't be able to hold the top out. So I had to figure out another way to, to get the rods down out of the way where they're not laying on the floor and everybody's tripping on them. So I'm going to show you uh, about installing these rod holders on the gunnels and uh, a couple other good things in the plant and the works. So stay tuned and we'll uh, show you what we've got going on. Alright y'all, we're going to get to installing these fishing rod holders I was telling you about. Kind of did a little prep work off camera and uh, went ahead and rigged up some rods in here so I can kind of get a test fit where I want them to sit. And uh, I kind of mocked it up where I'd like where I liked it and uh, marked the four holes. These little brackets got uh, these notch screw holes in here so I marked where I want to put my screws at. Now it's just a matter of uh, you know, free drill or holes. I'm going to thread these in by hand. Uh, I figure this top screw is. There's a little gap in the hole where it flares out, so I don't think I'm going to have any issue getting my screw in there. But I, and put them in by hand and get a feel for it. I don't want to puncture all the way through the outside of the, the boat. I got some pretty short screws here and I even uh, took the grinder and ground them down a little shorter too. So I'm going to use the, the tip of one of these brand new ones to get the thread started and then thread these short ones in. And hopefully that'll be long enough to hold them
All right, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, we got the rod, flush mount rod holder cut into the front hatch there for our anchor rope. We got the uh, rod holders on both sides now. As you saw, I just put a little clip in at the end. Uh, I did a video a while back about my trolling motor install, and I had yet to put a fuse on that uh, main power wire going to it. And when I ordered these new rod holders, I needed a little bit more money to get free shipping, so I, I went ahead and ordered a fuse holder for that. I got a couple extras because if I'm going to be adding more stuff, I want to make sure everything's fused and safe so we don't have any issues on the water. So I hope you all like that video. Uh, if you would, just go ahead and uh, give me a like and a subscribe because I'm going to do more videos here sh shortly. I'm doing another one on the trailer here, maybe either today or tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be up posted uh, sometime this week because I got some uh, guide-ons that I'm going to put on the trailer because if you've ever launched or loaded this thing without them, you know, it can be tricky if you get in the in current or wind where it wants to blow the back end of the boat around. So I think the guide-ons are going to be a big key and uh, I'm going to do a little review on this front bunk that I made too. So stay tuned for that and then hopefully hunting season's over in a couple weeks, weather gets nice, we'll be out uh, doing some fishing and and a bunch of other cool stuff on the boat. So thank you all for watching. Halfway there adventures. Take it easy.